you will find in American business, even romance today is used to drive revenue. There's a famous young singer called Taylor Swift. You may have heard her name. Taylor Swift has been a chart buster for many, many years. She's one of the leading women singers. All her music is on top of the chart. Those who are young, those who are 50 plus, you may not have heard of her. Those who are 50 and below perhaps have heard. I see a young lady nodding her head there. You know, thank you, ma'am. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelnick, who is a two-time Super Bowl champion, they seem to have a relationship. What happened is that when Taylor Swift appears at a Super Bowl, which is American football, more and more young women who do not like the physicality of American football started coming into the game. The revenue went up. And Travis Kelnick's jerseys or T-shirts, whose sales were dipping, they started going up. An interesting way to expand your revenue, as you see, ladies and gentlemen. So the question, therefore, is, Tom Peters and Robert Waterman's work of In Search of Excellence focused on seven S's. Talked about strategy, systems, skill, shared values, staff, and all of that. But the problem in the world we live in today is that it's a dynamic world. And in the dynamic world, the context is all the time changing. Therefore, taking a static view of what you need to do is not going to keep us excellent. So what you got you here is not going to take you there. What's brought Sambad from 1980s till 2023 is not going to take Sambad to 2057 unless Sambad continues to reinvent itself. And that is what is true about excellent organizations. Most excellent organizations have learned how to learn. And learning how to learn is not the easiest thing. As you grow older as an individual, or as you grow older as a corporation, it becomes harder and harder to learn how to learn. But if Charles Darwin's theory of survival of the fittest, which we call, actually that's not what Charles Darwin said, he said it's the adaptive who survive the most. And therefore, adaptiveness is nothing but the ability to learn. So we need to ask ourselves, and particularly those of you who are winning awards today, who have won awards in the last six editions, is to continuously ask questions to yourself, if you are a promoter, you are a CEO, you are a CXO, you are a leader, or encourage your teams to ask that question, what is that in the last 12 months, 18 months, 24 months that we have done new in order to improve our adaptability to the change circumstances?